the goalie go to the front of the net. The Caps have just two goals in the series, both one-timers on the power play from Peter Bondra. They need to do something to figure out the suddenly daunting full metal jacket Penguin defense. Pens up two games to one. We're up two games to one, and tonight's the biggest game of our lives again. You know, it's... Uh... Wash is saying the same thing, but for us, it's huge for us to win this game tonight. It's, it's a must game for us, and uh, definitely don't want to go back to Washington tie 2-2, two -two and uh, it's going to be a tough game. Every game could go either way. So far, if you look at uh, in the past uh, all three games, whoever scored first won the game, so maybe it's going to be like that. So hopefully, we're going to be uh, first on the board and uh, we're going to have a good chance to win the game. It puts a lot into it. All right, scoring first. But Cohen Johan moves in Pittsburgh now because of the man to the moose mask. All right, who would score first? Uh, how about Steve Konowalczyk from Halpern? Konowalczyk's first, Ray. He, he cross-checks Kasparaitis in front of the net. He gets away with a free one here. Could have been a penalty, and Kasparaitis gives him one to the back of the head. Still one nothing caps. Mario throw it to the front of the net. Goes off Gonchar and in. Mario's second. The series ties it a one. Late second cap power play. Brendan Wynn. Watch again in front of the net. Hedberg. Little contact there before the puck got there. That was his complaint. 2 1 caps. Very caps using good movement on their power play to score. Well, let's go back in time because we're ESPN and we can do that. Yeah. Watch the puck go from one side of the rink to the other. That makes a goaltender move from one side of the rink to the other. This seems to cause Johan Hedberg a lot of problems. It causes all goaltender problems. Any goaltender that sees the puck coming right out at him, he has no problem stopping. Same thing here. Puck goes from one side of the rink to the other. Hedberg never did get square to the shot and went over his shoulder. It was a great shot though by Brendan Wood. Cap power play, Gonshaw the shot. Once again, Kano Walchuk is butt right in front of Hedberg. Can't see a thing. Kano second. Laukinen knows that that's a goal his team cannot afford to give up. 3-1. But then the Penguins wake up. Artie, no. Mario behind the net. Feathers it to Yager, no. Stuffs it in. Yager was a dog for most of the night, but he came on late. Penguins down 3-2. Minutes later, Joe Riki in for interference. Yager. Waking up, goes to the net, throws it, and goes right to Laukinen, who bangs it home, and the Penguins tie a three. We go to overtime, and guess what? Yager can win it. Shoot it now. No, he gets in tight. You can't be only tight. Remember that save, folks. Ron Wilson. All right, grinders, go get me another one. Just over a minute later, Connor Walchuk steals it from Bergeron, who's had a great series, but... A big mistake there, Ray. Yeah, Bergerman gets beaten. A tight Pittsburgh defense makes a mistake. Primo goes to help. Stevens doesn't get the helper, and he one-times it in underneath Hedberg. Capitals, Capitals tie the series up. You want to add something there? Yeah, he was very quick to blame the defenseman when the forward lost his man. Right, yeah, typical yeah. centerman. What about Bob? Helper and scores to Caps' first equal strength goal of the series, yet they're tied at two with the Pens. Capitals now 6-2 in their last eight playoff overtime games. You see they have five on the power play, one even strength. Mario has a goal in 33 of the 48 home playoff games he's played. The Pens just 2-6 and six in their last eight playoff overtime games. He's an older guy. He's not like he's, he's not like he's 21, and uh, he, you know, he's played uh, he's played international competition before, and so I'm sure uh, um, you know according to all the reports, he's a pretty easygoing guy. So I don't think it's going to rattle him too bad. I mean, we hope it does, but I, I we got to be prepared that he's going to he's going to come back and play hard and then stone us and, uh, uh, on Saturday. We've got to find a way to keep putting the pressure on the on the net. Putting pressure on Moose Hedberg right now. It's the HDK line, Halpern, Dallin, Connor Walchuk. Before the series started, that was the key. But now it's suddenly an offensive line for this team. It certainly is. And Ron Wilson juggled his lines after game three, looking for a little bit more offense. And the only line that he left together was his checking line of Connor Walchuk, Dallin, and Halpern. They've done a great job on Mario Lemieux and Yager in the series. Here you're going to see the first goal here. Connor Walchuk battles his way in front of the net. He pushes Kasparaitis over. Ouch. Nice pass from Halpern. A little bit later on here, there's a play. It's going to be whistled offside. Hel or Connor Walchuk runs into Herdina. Now he runs into Lemieux. There's no one else to run into, trying to trying to get Lemieux to, to get off his game a little bit. And on the winner, great work by Dallin first, and then Connor Walchuk behind the net. And even though Barry said I was blaming the defenseman there, Primo <laughs> came in and lost his guy. And, uh, and Halpern's able to put the puck in the net. But that line's very good along the boards. Dallin's one of the best board men in the league, and uh, Connor Walchuk's a tireless worker. Halpern had 20, over 20 goals this year. He's right from the Maryland area, and they, they've been a key to this series for the Capitals. So Game 5, of course, was going to happen anyway, but now whole different implications at this point. The Penguins suddenly find themselves tied at 2, and you can watch that Game 5 on ABC Sports. 3 Eastern, noon Pacific, Penguins and Capitals.